Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is my second video. Um, I am redoing a magnifying glass. This is just a cheapo plastic magnifying glass that um, I got in, a, I think it was a microscope kit um, for kids. Um, I think you can just get them at Walmart in the office section or, or just about anywhere. I think this one you could find for like $4. It's super cheapo. And I wanted a nicer looking one, so I started um, thinking of some ways to do that. So what I decided to do was work with this model air, um, porcelain clay. The porcelain clay is stickier. Um, I would rather have worked with polymer clay, but the polymer clay, um, would have melted the plastic when I baked it in the oven. So I needed something air dry. So here I'm sticking marble at the top because I wanted this to be kind of Ravenclaw themed for my daughter's Ravenclaw themed room. It's a blue marble at the top, and I'm just kind of smoothing it out. Go away, kitty. Um, and then um, I take these cabochons. They're just clear cabochons um, that that I got on the internet, and I painted them with, with a metallic paint on the back. And after the metallic paint dries, I think I did a, a couple of coats, then I adhere them to the glue, I mean the... The clay this kind of clay is made with glue and you can find a recipe online actually i just prefer to buy it because i it, it's a it's a lot to deal with it's it's really messy and i don't like making it myself but maybe someday i'll make a tutorial but there's lots of them online just look up porcelain clay recipe or tutorial online um anyway i'm just kind of making um these uh cabochons fit in and then after I, I get those in completely, then I decided I was gonna do like some feathers all over. I'm not sure I ended up loving this design, but this is what I did, so you can watch this, but you can really do any design you want. Um, I If I had the polymer clay, I would have done something more simple and swirly and smooth and symmetrical, but I was hard, it's hard to get symmetrical, so I went with organic with this because, uh, organic shapes and stuff with the feathers because um, it's hard for me to get really smooth with this kind of clay, but you might be better at it than me. Um, if I would have had a, a metal um, one, I would have probably done um, polymer clay with it just because I'm better at that and it's just easier to work with and get smooth and, and it doesn't dry as you're working with it. So that's one nice thing about polymer clay, but this porcelain clay does. So here I am making the feathers, um, just using... Um, a ball clay, make it into oval, spread it out, put it on, and then make the um, the shapes with an exacto knife. I like to kind of cut into one of the feathers. I didn't do it on this one as much. Um, just and pull it out just to give it kind of that look of like a messy feather. Um, and then I roll out a little snake after doing the feather shape little teeny tiny snake. Oh, and by the way, I'm wrapping up the um, the clay after taking out each bit. Otherwise, it dries out so fast that you won't be able to use it. Um, and I dip it in the water to keep it sticky. Um, like I said, it's made out of glue, so uh, dipping it in the water kind of gives it more of that stickiness. Um, Okay, so after covering the whole thing with feathers, I didn't show the whole thing because that would take forever and you're here to learn how to do it, not really to watch me do it for hours. And it did take forever. I just um, start making, start painting this with a black matte paint. And I'm just being careful not to get the cabochons, but I did get a little bit. If you get it on there, you can buff it out. You're gonna get some of that clay mess on the cabochons and on the, and the, the glass of the magnifying glass. You're just gonna to wanna to touch some water on it or some cleaner and buff it out with a cloth and that will clean them up really good. And if you do get um, any paint on there after, you can clean it up with some um, acetone or mineral spirits. Anyway, finishing up with the black, then I go to the rub and buff. This is an antique gold rub and buff, which is my favorite color. They also have brilliant gold if you want it a little brighter. I think the antique gold makes it a little bit more like a brass, and I'm going for like brassy bronze because the Ravenclaw color, colors are blue and bronze. So 
I'm doing kind of like a dry brush. I'm sorry I went out of screen, but a little dry brush with the um, wax. You could probably do paint too, but I just really like the brilliance of the wax. The wax just really makes it, I don't know, it just has a really great finish and it's not going to peel off or anything off of the plastic bit that's around the, um, the magnifying glass up top. So, because it's wax um, and, and it just, it sticks on really good. It doesn't rub off on anything when it dries. So it's really nice. So I just rub it along everything around the inside and I didn't show it, but if you, when you're done, if you got some on the glass and you need to clean it up, you can clean it up with mineral spirits or again, um, acetone. So that's really it. And I tried to make this fast for you so you don't sit through a lot, but, um, there's some close-ups of the magnifying glass. You can do your own design, anything you want. Um, the gold is what makes it look cool. It looks like it didn't get all of that wiped off, but it looks pretty good. Um, this is for my daughter's room, and I hope you like the tutorial, and I hope that you do something cool with it. Let me know what you get.